Hello, my name is Cosmo and welcome to the first episode of SnowRunner. Uh, SnowRunner is more or less a vehicle sim uh, where you have a multitude of trucks which you use to do very truck-like things like move on from point A to point B and uh, get lost in them and end up without fuel in blazing blizzard that kind of stuff um you have a multitude of trucks uh, it's based on uh, a sandbox like map actually maps multiple we have uh, multiple areas each of them would have like three or four maps and each of them have uh, goals like major goals like uh, oil sites or stuff like that which we help with directly and we advance by just doing tasks for the various companies that um, own those endeavors but this is a very slow progression um, we have to unlock the map first we have to get good, better trucks we also have to upgrade said trucks and all of that actually starts with a fair bit of scouting and just figuring out the map, what are, what are the bad spots, yada yada. Anyways, I'm gonna just go right into it. By the way, this series will be um, a very uh, calm series. Uh, I'm not gonna yell around, I'm not gonna go, oh my god, that was so amazing. I'm just gonna be playing the game, like any one of you might be playing the game, and trying to have some fun, and taking you guys along for the ride. I'm gonna go out and check out this watchtower here. We are in our Chevrolet, Chevrolet CK1500. Uh, and let's head out. If. The vehicle sim uh, part of this is pretty, well, I'm not gonna say basic, uh, you have like auto transmission, which is your you know more or less regular transmission. Low gear, which you can use shift via uh, the shift key, which just allows you to uh, make sure that you don't don't get stuck in mud and stuff like that. Uh, neutral and reverse. Dif there are different trucks for different uh, things, like better for uh, on road, other for off road, just by the virtue of um, how their gearing is set up. I'm not a huge car head, but I know just enough to be able to uh, play this. Also to note, I am playing this with uh, a mouse and keyboard, uh, which is not really recommended because uh, the game features a lot of use, it gets a lot of use out of um, analog uh, inputs. So, uh, you know, seeing how much the wheels turn, right? Uh, it starts to matter when um, we're going the right way. I think we're going the right way. We should have another route through here. Uh, I'm saying it starts to matter because um, oh god, this is such a bad start. I was gonna say it starts to matter because um, uh, you have greater control and you do face uh, under slash over steering with um, mouse and keyboard. Now, are we stuck in a bit of rock? Yes, we are stuck in a bit of rock. And are we already stuck? That's cool, awesome. Well, most of the game will probably end up like this. This is the fun of it, just uh, making your way through very harsh environments in your uh, pickup truck or mega uber ridiculous 16 wheel truck. Um, if this game looks like something you've seen before, uh, you may be right, this is a spiritual sequel, well actually the sequel to uh, Mud Runners. What we're doing here, actually we're getting stuck in the mud. 
we put up a winch and we're going to use that winch to get out it can be attached to various stuff like uh, trees, rocks um, various elements of the environment let's turn off all wheel drive to save some fuel Generally, uh, using all-wheel drive consumes a lot more fuel, and it's not recommended for uh, when you have like nice, clean road ahead of you. But it's not really the case here. Uh, and going back to the analog discussion, this can be played with a controller and it's kind of recommended to play with the controller again just because you have that uh, analog uh, input available with the joysticks it right here 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 and that should be enough just to get me up to this uh, watchtower here it's the standard style of Ubisoft uh, go to tower and unlock uh, points of interest in the area um, fuel and repairs are free uh, I think even recovery is free, so if you end up stuck somewhere, you can totally recover. You, have, you can also switch between vehicles and use multiple vehicles uh, out in the field. Sometimes it's actually needed. Come on. Water is stuck on a tiny bit of rock. Okay. Can we stick you? Yeah, there we go. The winch is like almost vital. <laughs> it can be used to get you out of stuff, to get other stuff out of stuff, and just to make sure you have that extra little bit of uh, power when you need to get out of a very muddy situation. Also, speaking of muddy situation, this is terrible. This is entirely terrible. And of course, wow, this is a bad area. Um, I think, yeah, I think I should just come back and try using the bank there. Man, this is very bad. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, okay, that crashed and burned. Have any other? Okay, we have that. You have to be gentle with how much you're uh, pulling on something. Th these trees can fall. So if you just tap it, you should get more life out of that tree. Let's see if we can also pull our front. There we go. Nope. Stay upright tree. I still need you. Okay. still need that tree. Okay. 
have anything else to grapple on here? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's try pulling the back then. Okay, that actually got us out. Nice. Okay, let's release that winch. And let's try going around the side. Maybe we'll have a bit more luck. Uh, this is the starter truck which you get and it's entirely unupgraded. Upgrades matter a lot for vehicles. Hmm, actually, is there a possibility? I wonder. Oh. Maybe I can... Oh god, I'm already stuck. Yeah, let's use the low gear. But man, this is some horrible, horrible ground. Very steep slope, but let's see if we can maybe climb this. It would save us some time. The ground seems to be decently stable here. Let's park and break it. Let's. F is fast winch, but if you set up your winch manually, you have a better chance of getting where you want. Let's raise the handbrake. Let's do this. And break on. Let's winch on to that. Ooh. Oh wow. Yeah, sorry. Handbrake off. Oh, there we go. Release it. And come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, don't get stuck on this. Oh, hey, perfect. <laughs> nice. We are exactly not where we want to be, but okay. Uh, pretty there is a road here, aside from that road. Okay, let's just, let's just wing it. Let's pretend we're in Skyrim climbing mountains. Boop. Easy there. It's a good thing the terrain is so solid here. That's the only reason we're actually able to uh, make this kind of progress. it for a second. Can I rotate this map? Oh, I can. Well, that rotates very, very fast. Uh, I'm not sure this was the smartest thing I ever did. But let's try this. Let's try this, this, and that will get us back up to where we were supposed to be going. Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Some very assisted climbing we're seeing right here. I wonder if it's safe to go off the low gear. Okay, 
let's give it a shot. Oh, actually it is. Hey, yo, we're back at the road. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Finally, we can start making some uh, good speed to that watchtower. After a very slow start there. And you know this is what I meant about um, steering. Uh, the wheels don't auto center as fast as you might expect in some you know arcade kind of uh, games. So you actually have to counter steer yourself. To put the wheels back in uh, well the straight direction. After you just took a very hard left or hard right. There you go. Watchtower, cool. No, dude. Ow. Ouch. That hurts. Upgrade location discovered. Okay. Where is that? Drowned highway truck. Nice. Uh, usually you can... You have to buy trucks, and you sometimes need levels for that, but um, sometimes you can actually find them out in the wild. So I think I should. I want to maybe want to visit that. The upgrade is here. That looks rather marshy, to be honest. Uh, and actually, I, I don't know if even if I get here, I don't think I'll have it. I need a better truck to be able to haul that out of the mud if it's there. So I think I just use this to get the upgrade. Uh, is that a straight shot downwards? Well, technically it is if I really want to. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's give it a shot and hope we don't, don't die horribly. Fuel? We're good on fuel for the moment. Okay. This is definitely not recommended. Okay. Let's take it easy here. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Parking brake on. Let's, uh... I'm pretty sure this was in... One of the... Don't do this to find the instruction manual for no car. Don't <laughs> fall down here with the parking brake activated. not wreck the engine too much. It has 100 hit points, so it's not terrible. Okay, when we're back to civilization. And we left civilization. <laughs> Let's approach this carefully, we don't want to end up... Um, getting horribly stuck like we did the first time. for this. Oh, actually this is pretty safe. What's this? Raised. Not good for the current truck. A raised inspection kit good for venturing down all roads or off-road terrain. And this is available for the GMC MH9500 which I am pretty sure we do not have. <laughs> so should we just do... Actually, let's check what we have to do still. Okay. We should probably fuel up, to be honest. Is there a fueling spot around here? Yeah, this is the garage. I can only fuel at the garage. But I was hoping there was another fuel station here. Yeah, well, uh, either way, we should probably take a look at um, 
what we have available in terms of tasks. Oh, wow. And I'm not sure what contests are. I mean, ta um, tasks are standalone things. Um, what I was looking at earlier are contracts, which are part of the engaging storyline, you know, do uh, things in order to um, unlock uh, different, even, you know, more areas of the map by building bridges and stuff like that, but generally just uh, increasing the industry of the area. And contests, I'm pretty sure like time trials or something like that. Not really gonna bother with them right now anyway. You know, let's just give it a shot. Let's check what's the place beyond the spruces. Scout is recommended. Find a place. Oh, just get there? Oh, no, it's uh, actually get here. So, oh, do I just need to get here? Oh, cool. I was just there. <laughs> sure. Okay, let's... Uh, might as well use the proper way to get there this time, right? Which is via this road. Something, something. Okay. I think the fuel should be enough. lie though. Uh, I do have one single upgrade. I got some uh, ever so slightly better uh, mud tires. on the map, the area, the global area where we are in right now, Michigan, is more or less the starting area. Uh, the game pretty much leaves you off in the Alaska area, which is ever so slightly harder. Um, but I'm thinking of just spending some time here and getting my feet wet, getting a few of the upgrades um, and get some level ups. As far, I as far as I know, I think uh, wheels are like a universal uh, upgrade, so uh, it'd be nice to get the level ups here and the money here to get the wheel upgrades, which are, well, not the most important, but they help a lot. Before I just end up in neck deep in snow in some deep Alaskan tundra or something. Let's 
keeping that tree alive. We may need it. And I think it's wise to switch to the low gear for this. spot. Okay, this has to be the spot. Let's park and break it. Let's do that and that should be enough. There we go. Okay. Is that mission complete or was I supposed to actually activate it? spot again I really hope I didn't have to actually take it from that spot something. I fucked it up. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, let, let's check how are the other ones listed. Deliver to the motel, curtside trailer. Deliver to far on power line. Okay, and the destination for that is, you know, delivered there. Okay, so am I... Did I not... Take this? How do I take this? Player, delete. Oh crap. Oh no. This is bad. This is bad. Ugh. Oh. Will the physics help us? This is some GTA physics right here. 
There we go. Okay, I think for sure I'm gonna just uh, give this a rest. I'm gonna head back to my garage. Actually, let's yeah, let's head back via the road we came in. Might as well go past that farm and see. Maybe I have to pick up the quest there or something like that. I would have expected this to be a bit more uh, straightforward than it was, but oh well. I should have enough fuel to uh, return back to the garage. Yeah, going down is a lot uh, quicker than going up. And uh, dropping that, that all-wheel drive is like, you feel it instantly. If you're not on extremely hard ground and you dig in just ever so slightly, whether the um, terrain damage saves between, you know, saves per se, but it'd be interesting if you, you know, put the road out of commission just by driving it too many times. quickly check if the quests in this game are like pick up from somewhere or if that was just uh, bugged in its way a bit because the game does have uh, more than a few bugs even uh, with so many patches released up to date There we go. Right. Sure. Thanks. Awesome. Uh, okay. So is this now tracked, right? Aha. There we go. So you do need to go and pick it up. Slightly annoying, but oh well. It is what it is. So it's active. It's fine, it's good, great. Okay.
not go through that mud again if we can. Time is actually catching up to us. Um, there is an option to skip time in case you know night time catches you around, and I don't think there's any penalty for that. Um, I would think that you'd have at least some uh, fuel penalty or something because you know you keep the heater on overnight or something like that, but I don't think so. So I have no idea why you would not um, always play during the daytime. Because a lot of the game is actually reading the terrain and what's in front of you and noticing every little uh, pebble or rock or something. I... This is a, maybe a bit too ambitious. Be too ambitious. Yeah, no, come on. Let's head back if I'm not terribly, terribly stuck, which I think I am. Oh, actually, no. Uh, when you're in low, you cannot go reverse because, well, <laughs> reverse is part of the automatic transmission part gearbox, not part of the low range. How terrible are we with the engine right now? Uh, show damage. Engine 87 out of 100? I think so, yeah, 87. Okay, come on. Handbrake for a second. Handbrake, sorry, release the winch. Okay, let's see if we have any good options here. Yep, that. Let's not wreck the tree. And we wreck the tree. Oh well. Between tree wrecking and using 2.8 whatever liters a minute of fuel, uh, this game isn't very eco-friendly. <sighs> anyway, that was it. Yeah, it's a nice view. Beautiful, ain't it? Actually, you know what guys? I think this might be a nice spot for uh, ending this first episode. I hope you guys liked. Um, I'm planning on playing a lot of um, SnowRunner in the future. Uh, so if you liked this video, you can like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Again, this was Cosmo playing SnowRunner and thank you for joining.